welcome back to my channel. My name is Brody. The name of my channel is called Unruly Curves. Thank you so much for coming back for another video. Make sure you like my videos. I haven't even seen you liking the videos, but you're looking at it, but you're not liking. So make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know exactly what products you've been using. And if you suggest these products or what products you think I should be using for my skin, that you think will help clear up some of my acne marks, make sure my texture's a little bit more smoother, maybe minimize my pores, let me know in the comment section. At the beginning of this video, today is June 15th. It is around about 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 15th, and I told y'all that we're gonna do a subscriber giveaway, so that's why I'm recording on the 15th to make sure I stick with my word, okay? So we are doing a subscriber giveaway via Cash App, and it's only gonna to go to if you're subscribed to the channel. Also have to be active in the comment section. So if you could be a subscriber, but if you're not commenting and liking on these videos, you're not gonna be eligible to win. So we're gonna announce two winners close to the end of this video, and we're gonna send you some money via Cash App because I know we're going through inflation, so any little bit that I send you should count and should help you get some gas in your vehicle, maybe get you and your kids something to eat, something special for the summer, I don't mind doing it, because you select subscribe and you've been active in the comment section, that just let me know that you believe in Brody and my channel and my dream and my vision. So I appreciate it. Stay tuned to the end so that you can hear the people that I pick for subscriber giveaway. Also, when I do call out your name that you have on YouTube, if I have not received your cash app information, please email it. I'll leave the email here. It's called unrulycurvesofficial at gmail.com. So email me if you don't want to show your cash app information in the comment section. I know that can be a little personal too. I didn't think about that. Today's video, we're going to focus on some of the items that I've been using in the month of, what's this, June? So it would be May. <laughs> some of the products that I've been using in the month of May, but I'm letting you know that it's my June favorite because I have been seeing some good results. You know, I've been battling with my acne since you first started seeing some of my videos. I know you've been seeing me all bumped up, but you see my skin is getting a little bit smoother. Besides this one little bump, you know, I'm PMSing. So I know it's too much information, I'm sorry. But if you wanna see all the products that I bought from Amazon, and you wanna see what I bought, and wanna see if it's something that you can use to add to your beauty regimen to help improve your skin, improve your texture, to just brighten up and make you look so glowy for the summer, make sure you stay tuned. from Amazon. So the first item that I want to start off with is the item that I use to actually combat some of the acne, kill some of the bacteria on the surface of my skin. What I've been using is the Panoxo. I hope I'm saying that right, Panoxo. It's an acne foaming wash and it has like the max high percentage, maybe not the max, but a very high percentage of benzoyl peroxide, which is maximum strength, and it actually clears your existing acne, and benzoyl peroxide, that is an antibacterial ingredient that you may see in a lot of acne wash or acne treatments, but it's also recommended by a lot of dermatologists. Now, just to give you a history of some of the things that have been going on with my skin, I wanna say around about December of 2021, I decided to try birth control because I didn't want to take a chance on having another child. <laughs> but children are beautiful. I don't knock anyone's decision. I just, I'm just having to kind of balance it with what I'm trying to do and I just think it would be not fair for the child to bring them up in this type of atmosphere when I'm not really focused 100% on a new one. I'm already on schedule with my three and if I bring in the number four, I don't know if I'm going to be able to handle it. Because I know me and I know I'm not sure I decided to use a birth control. And it was a pill. Normally when I was a teenager up until I was young adult, like 20, 23, I was on the birth control patch. And I opted not to do it this time, I'm not sure why, but I went to something I never used before was the birth control pills. And honey, the birth control pills were breaking me out so bad. I started breaking out really bad and started in January. I started breaking out right here at my chin area, which you see I do have a, a pimple here. I'm PMSing, like I said. <laughs> it started off here, it was like really dry and itchy skin. Under my skin was these big old puffy bumps under the skin where you couldn't even squeeze it. 
So it was not on the surface of the skin at all. It started going from section. So it would start here, then it went to my skull, and then I had some on my cheeks, then I had some here. It was just rotating. And it was so painful, guys, to the point that I started crying just to even wash my face. It was so painful, I swear. Never had that happen in my whole entire life. I thought it was my hair dye because I actually have my hair cut and I'm blonde. <laughs> I thought it was a dye that I was using for my hair. So I let my hair grow out. I stopped using the dye. That didn't help. So I thought it was the dairy products that I was eating. I stopped doing the dairy products. That didn't help them just flare up even more. So I thought it was some of these acne products that I was using. I decided to stop again. Didn't help. And then I realized the only thing I did different that I wasn't doing, because I was using these products for months and I wasn't, it was, you know, giving me good results. The only thing that I did different was birth control. And then when I realized that was the problem with my skin, it stopped. I have no surface bumps besides the one little acne bump I have, which is fine. But my skin has cleared. No bumps, no problems. So when I realized that, now I'm trying to get my skin to bounce back, so I'm back to my regimen. Again, my acne wash here, I've been using for the surface of my skin, especially since I'm wearing more makeup now. You know, I'm looking glamorous. <laughs> <laughs> more glamorous. So, you know, I have to kill that bacteria off my skin from the brushes that I may use, oil buildup. So this is my go-to product to wash my face. As you can see, I'm getting low. It's time to contact Amazon again to get another order of this. But this is what I got from Amazon. I'll leave the pricing and the links below where you can buy it from Amazon. And I'll also leave you a discount code in case you're interested in getting these products. You can, and you know, I'm gonna look out for you. and I'm gonna give you that discount, okay? <laughs> the next product that I've been using, um, after I do my acne wash, I use this in the morning times. After I do an acne wash, I go in with this new product that I've been using. It's by The Ordinary. It's the Niacinamide 10% and it has zinc 1%. This is actually a blemish formula. So I've been dealing with a lot of blemishes after that episode with the birth control pills, right? And this has been helping me with my acne spots. Um, and not only that, it's been brightening up my skin. When I use it, guys, it looks like it even minimized my, some of my wrinkles, my fine lines. So I've really been enjoying this product. Hopefully I'm using it right. I'm not a dermatologist, so I don't know anything about acne products. So I'm just doing what I think is best. So if you have an issue with your skin, I don't recommend taking just my word for it. Please make sure you seek a professional help. Make sure you go to a dermatologist or esthetician or someone who can help you with your skin. I'm just say, telling you what I use for my skin since I was going through that bout with my acne with the birth control. But the niacinamide by The Ordinary, I got this from Amazon. Y'all, it wasn't, I don't even think this was $10. I really don't, but I'll leave the pricing below. But this is what I've been using to clear up my spots. It works wonders on your skin. Not only did it just clear up my blemishes, it also brightened up my skin. It's been filling in my fine lines as well. It just gives me this youthful glow after using it. And it actually smooths my skin, so it actually helped me with texture too. I wash my face with the acne wash, and then I go in with the Ordinary. And this is the Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1%. The next product that I use after I use the niacinamide 10%, I actually go in with the Mario Badescu, and this is his facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. Now, I don't use this every single day. I only use it when I know that I'm gonna have a long, long day, and I just wanna refresh and pick up my skin. So I'll start off with this in the morning, and I'll keep maybe replenishing it throughout the day, like three times after the day, I'll keep spraying my face. And it just helps me with repairing my skin. And it just gives me that refreshing skin and, and glow that is really healthy looking glow for the summertime. On the bottom it says, uh, for hydrating boost or midday pick me up, this cult favorite face mist helps rehydrate the skin with a dewy glow anytime, anywhere. It has a floral infusion of aloe, rose, and gardenia boost to complexion, leaving the skin radiant and re-energized. Hey, I was right. That's what I'm getting from it whenever I use it two or three times out the day. It just refreshes my skin and gives me a nice glow. And like I said, it boosts up your actual complexion. It gives you a bright, glowy skin. So this is what I incorporate in my skin. And again, I'll leave it below the pricing and all that good stuff from Amazon. And I'll give you my discount code as well in the description below, okay? After I do that, I do go in with a moisturizer. 
Now, it just depends on the time of the day. If it is midday or morning where I'm about to go out into the sun, I have to go in with the sunscreen. It's the Olay Complete and it's the Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen. And it's for sensitive skin, which I battle with combination skin, mostly sensitive and oily skin. So it's like a combination dry. It's, it's a combination, girl. It's a mix up. But this is what I've been using on my skin. It's a daily moisturizer as well. I use that, but I actually drop a little bit of oil in it. I don't know because I seem like this leaves like a little white cast on my face. So I'm gonna show you the next product I use. I kind of like added two or three drops of this oil in it to actually get rid of the cast off my skin. But yeah, this is what I've been using. It does not clog my pores. I don't have any breakouts from using sunscreen. I know a lot of females that look like me, we do have an issue with maybe sometimes the sunscreen clogging our pores, making your skin look worse. You can actually see it in your pores. You can see like the white stuff in your pores. This does not do that. Now, I had to be careful because it does have a 3% zinc in it. So if I'm gonna use this sunscreen, I may not use the ordinary because I'm putting too much zinc on my face at one time. That may be too much and it might cause me to break out. So if I'm gonna use this one, I won't use this. I'll figure out a different sunscreen to use. I try to look at the ingredients on uh, whatever I'm using to make sure that I'm not overloading my skin with the same product to cause my skin to have a reaction to the products. Yeah, this is what I've been using for my sunscreen. Along with this, sometimes I do go in with the rosehip oil. Now, rosehip oil, is it doesn't have like a bad smell or anything like that, but it does have goldish yellow tone to it. So be careful as far as like it's staining things, cause it can, <laughs> if it drops on your countertop and it's white, honey. It's gonna be a little yellow. But I've been using this Rada Rosehip Oil by Skincare, and it's USDA organic, okay? <laughs> Look at Brody using something organic, okay? It's 100% pure natural. I believe it's cold press. Yeah, it is cold press. I assume that's supposed to be the best, top notch, right? Let me know in the comment section. So it's a Rada Rosehip Oil, and this is what I've been using along with the niacinamide to combat some of the dark marks that I have on my skin, hyperpigmentation. Like I said, it re reduces blemishes, brighten the skin for a youthful, healthy complexion. It's ideal for dry, mature, and blemish-prone skin, which is Describe me 100%. Skincare, thank you. Rosehip Oil is an essential fatty acid oil so it actually have vitamins and antioxidants that absorb quickly to replenish and rehydrate and rejuvenate your skin. So it gives you another layer of fresh new skin. So I really love rosehip oil, especially if you have hyperpigmentation and you want something that does not clog up your pores. Definitely, definitely look into the Rader rosehip oil if you feel like oil's not going to break you out. Cause I know some people use oil and it can break them out. If it's not gonna cause you too much of an issue, the Rader rosehip oil by Skincare Plus organic cold press is actually pretty good. I've been using it on my skin and I, like I said, I drop a few drops of it with my sunscreen because I'm, so I won't have that white cast on my face. So I've been using this as well to combat my hyperpigmentation and it's been working wonders. I definitely will show y'all. And matter of fact, I'm gonna insert a before and after picture of my skin. So you can see what I've been dealing with and you can see the results that I've been getting. So I'll show you my skin before it started breaking out once it started breaking out and where I'm at now. So a before and um, now and an after, I guess is the right sequence, right? So the next thing that I've been using, and I only use this if I don't go out in the sun, I'm at home. And so I want to minimize the sunscreen or if I'm using this product and I'm staying home for that day, I actually go in with the, something that's going to moisturize my skin, but it's not going to clog my pores. And that's the Cetaphil Daily Oil-Free Hydrating Lotion. And it's combination sensitive skin proof. Like that's what it said that it's for. And I actually just put like two squirts in my hand and I go in circular motion and let the rest of it absorb in my skin. But I've been using this y'all and I haven't had any breakouts. It is a really great product and it's really lightweight and it does not clog your pores. It's fragrant free and oil free. You know, I did say that some of you guys may break out from the oil. If that's the case, stay away from the oil if you cannot take oil, okay? Don't do the oil, girl, if it's gonna break you out, okay? <laughs> if the oil is gonna be a problem and you just wanna go in with the niacinamide and you wanna moisturize your skin after the fact and you're not going outside, <laughs> definitely use the Cetaphil to moisturize your skin. Like I said, it does not clog your pores, it's fragrance-free, and it's oil-free. 
and it's ultra light. And like I say, it hydrates your skin for about 24 hours. The only thing that I have a problem with is sometime after I wash my skin, I always burn right here in the corners of my nose. It is normally on fire. Sometimes I just take some oil or some cocoa butter and I rub on the side of my nose. And I don't know if the products I might be using maybe sometime a little too strong, but it's okay. When I do that, honey, I have no problems. I don't have no black spots on my nose or anything. It just burns, I don't know. I don't know why. But there's one other product that I've been using, guys, that I wanna show you to after I finish showing you the Cetaphil, but this has hyaluronic acid in it, so be careful. If you have a skincare regimen, you wanna incorporate this. Make sure you don't have too much hyaluronic acid percentages in your other products because you don't wanna to top this off with that because it may be too much for your skin. It may cause you to have like a rash or a reaction or redness or irritation. So you wanna stay away from using products with the same, same percentage of the same acid or treatments in it because you can have a reaction and not realize it. It's because you're using too much of the same products. You know, I did learn that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not a dermatologist, but I did learn that. Hello, it's hyaluronic acid in it. So I make sure if I do use it, I don't use any other products with hyaluronic acid in it. So I won't overload my skin. So I had to go get this other product that I swear by. <laughs> so this is the African black soap that I've been using from Amazon. Now, this product is extremely strong. So if you have sensitive skin, you want to make sure when you use this, this product that you don't use it often. You only use it maybe every other day, right? So, but I use mine. I use this in the morning time to wash my face, the Panoxyl, and at night I use my African black soap, honey. I use this soap. I don't just use it on my face, guys. I use it on my whole entire body except my vajayjay. I use it under my arms. I use it on my knees. I use it on my elbows. This is what I've been using to get that nice glowy skin and to even out my skin tone throughout my body. Now, let me show you how this product looks. It does come, I've already used some, but it comes with the instructions in it. And oh, this, this product is from Wonderfully Natural. That's who this is by. Wonderfully Natural, hopefully my light doesn't bother it too much, but I'll insert the information. It comes with instructions in it because black African black soap can be very strong. If you do not use it right, you will have a reaction to it. But they send you a general use guidelines and they also send you a spot testing guide. So you wanna kind of follow what they're telling you because they're trying to save you from having your skin look a disaster. Okay, on the spot testing guide, they give you a, I don't have it here, but it actually packages you some Q-tips where you can actually take the cotton swab that they do provide. I don't have it here because I've already used the product. But they give you a cotton swab and you rub it on the soap, dip it in some water, warm water, and then you rub it on the black soap and then onto your, on a small portion of your skin. Maybe do it on your arm, do it under your chin, just those area, maybe your leg before you decide to try to use it on your face, because you want to see what type of reaction you're going to have before you apply it to your beautiful face, honey. And they tell you how to do that. And it says, leave on your skin for five minutes before washing it off. And it said, please note if you experience any burning sensation during this time, please wash it off immediately and email them. Okay, but I didn't have any problems. Also, it says, wait another 15 minutes to observe your skin. If your skin hasn't experienced any adverse reactions, you are good to use it. If you experience a rash or discomfort of any kind, please email them. Okay, so that's what they let you know when you do the spot testing. Then they also let you know how to use it generally. And they also say week one, leave it on your skin for five seconds, and then you wash it off. Week two, you want to do for 10 seconds, like you increase it. You increase it for how long you let it sit in your skin before you rinse it off. Um, it says, do not use more than three times per week. Do only use it once every 48 hours. So remember, I was saying use it every other day. This soap should not be used more than three times per week. I'm guilty of it. And it says, allow your skin to adjust and recover after each use. And like I said, if you have any issues with any rash or any burning, please email these people. They are very sweet individuals. And for the best results, use uh, shea butter. I don't use shea butter because it clogs my pores up. I use it on my body, but not my face. I don't use it, it, it will break me out. It's, it probably makes you glow, but it clogs my pores up really bad. So I don't use it on my skin. But it also says, if you want to, you can also use a sponge or a washcloth to actually exfoliate and wash your skin, your body. 
and I use that as well. One of the things that I do, and I think you guys, if you decide to get the product, you should do. I'm gonna show you how the product looks. It smells just like actual dirt. So if you have some type of pica and you love the smell of dirt, you will love the smell of this. It smells just like the earth, so natural. But anyway, it comes in a big old, big old block. And I actually cut mine up into small little sections. It's so big, it's gonna last you a long time. <laughs> but this is what I use. And you would know it's African soap because it's really soft and it's squishy. Yes, it's really squishy. And like I said, it has like a very natural smell. So if you're looking for something that smells like strawberries and stuff, this ain't for you, honey. But it has a really natural smell. It does, the more water you get on, the softer it gets, but it is squishy and soft. And like I said, I gave you the instructions on how to use it on your skin. I don't recommend it if you have very, very sensitive skin. If you're African American, or black American, whichever one, you don't have an issue with having some adverse effect with acne wash and acne treatments. Do a swatch test on your, on your arm or under your chin to see how it works. And if you don't have any adverse effect, this is a very good product to actually add to your skincare regimen. If you're trying to combat acne or if you're looking to try to smooth the texture of your skin, if you're trying to get that glowy skin, if you're trying to minimize your pores, this is a very, very great product. And if you're trying to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the rest of your body, maybe between your breasts, under your breasts, under your arms, your elbows, your knees, maybe your booty, cheeks. If it's a little dark and you want to blend your skin in, this is the go-to for me, okay? And I do recommend it, but like I said, I'm not a dermatologist. So if you are having any acne problems, please seek professional help. I recommend this from my own opinion, my own experience, okay? I am not a professional. That's all I have for you guys. I will list all of the products in the description below. And I believe the Cetaphil and the Mario Badescu, you can probably pick those up from like a Sephora or a Target. But yeah, but if you want my discount code, honey, you want to hit the link in the description. Because Target's not going to give you that discount I'm going to give you, okay? But yeah, go in the description below and make sure you select the link, use my discount so you can try some of these products. If you're having issues with your skin, again, make sure each product that you use, make sure you're using some type of, of swatch test, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy those products. So before we go uh, tonight, which is again, June 15th, but it's like now 10.30 p.m., so you won't know that I'm lying. Let me show you when I recorded this video. I'm seeing here. Okay, as you can see the time, right? So I wanna go ahead and announce the winners to the giveaway. It was a really not a hard decision because if you look at my comment sections, I only have a few people that really, really, really stay active in the comment section. And I want to personally thank the winner. The first winner is Sure, which is S-H-E-R, Edward. Sure, Edward. If you can please, 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 Email me at unrulycurvesofficial at gmail.com or comment in the comments section of this video with your Cash App information. If you don't use any of those type of apps, let me know how I can send you something. Send me a P.O. box or something so I can send you something just to let you know how much I appreciate your engagement. For you to even take the chance to comment out of your busy schedule. For you to even hit the subscribe button for you to even hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload. That lets me know that you saying that you care enough about me and you believe enough in me that you're willing to push whatever seconds or minutes or hour you may have in your day to take a chance on Brody in my vision. And I wanna thank you so much and I appreciate you being active and uh, showing me so much love. And just to show you how much I appreciate what you're doing and how much you support me, I am going to be sending you your cash out as soon as you send me the information or you send me your address where I can send you a gift just to let you know how much I care and how much I really, really, really appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. You don't get unnoticed at all. And it doesn't, it doesn't go a second in my day where I don't appreciate you. And I thank you so much. Okay? So go ahead. Please email me. Again, the first winner is Sher Edward. And you want to give Sir Edward a round of applause. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll get that information. I'll get all that stuff and that gift sent to you, okay? The second person that I want to send something to or give to is someone I know personally, but 
She has been active in the comment section as well. She leaves very descriptive uh, comments on my videos. And I just wanna let her know that I appreciate her for even subscribing again. When you hit that subscribe button on these channels, you're not only just saying that you're just subscribing just to be nosy. To take time out of your schedule to comment, to even subscribe to the channel, letting that person know that you believe in them and you see their vision. And you're gonna rock with them till the wheels fall off. So the next person that I do want to either cash app or if you can send me some information where I can send you a gift, I would greatly appreciate it. But the next winner is Heather Warner. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. I do know Heather, you know, from around the way or whatever. So I definitely appreciate her. And I thank you so much for subscribing. I thank you for being active in the comment section. Those are the two winners, Heather Warner and Sher Edward. They are subscribed to the channel and they do stay active in the comment section. My email is unrulycurvesofficial at gmail.com. You can also put it in the comments below. But I need your P.O. box if you don't have any type of cash app. We well, can't get that cash quick. Send me your P.O. box or where I can send you your gift to show you how much I appreciate you on this channel, okay? That's all I have for you guys tonight. Make sure, again, that you like these videos. Make sure you comment. Make sure you're sharing it on your platforms. Okay, this video is supposed to go up tonight. <laughs> I'm off schedule, guys. Sorry. I got my days all mixed up. Stay tuned for my Target haul. If it's not gonna be Target, it's gonna be Red Doll. I'm trying to figure out which one I wanna bring to you first. Until then, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you, bye. And congratulations to the winners. Bye-bye. <laughs>